A wild elephant trampled a member of the Forest Protection Committee to death in Kerala's Bayanad, the third over the last three weeks. Thousands of people have been protesting for hours with the body at Pulpali in the district, following which CRPC Section 144 was clamped in the area by district authorities. Congress leader Rahul Gandhi and Kerala Governor Arif Mohammad Khan have both now met with the family members of the victims and assured possible support to the families. After the visit of Rahul Gandhi, however, Union Minister and BJP leader V. Murli Dharan has taken a jibe at him and said that Rahul Gandhi is a tourist in his own constituency. He only goes there once in five to six months and he must take care of the issues of the constituency that the constituency has been facing, such as the man-animal conflict for more than a week. So a tragedy in Kerala has now resulted in a political war of words in the state of Kerala. This is of course happening just a few months ahead of the general elections which will take place sometime between April and May. It has also raised serious questions on the alliance between the Congress and the CPIM which happen to be partners in the INDIA bloc. However, are they really partners in the state of Kerala itself? We take this conversation forward. I have with me Mr. Srinivasan of the Congress. I also have with me Advocate Manaswi Thapar, political analyst, joining us on the broadcast. Uh, hopefully, we will have a BJP voice shortly as well. But let me begin with Mr. Srinivasan of the Congress. Mr. Srinivasan, how does yes. the Congress party respond to the allegations of the BJP saying that Rahul Gandhi has hardly visited his own constituency of Bayanad and he's only making this visit because the protests are happening right before uh, the election season. See, let me tell you, first of all, it has been a highly responsible statement from a senior minister from Kerala, a senior union minister. How can he say that Mr. Rahul Gandhi visit the, visits the constituency only once in six months? He visits the constituency very regularly. These statements are made just to cover up the work that the union government is not doing on time. First, let me tell you, there has been an enhancement of the man-animal conflict in Wainat uh, district for the last uh, one, one and a half years. If you give it to the topography and demography of state, Kerala is one of the most densely populated states in the country, or I should say the most densely populated. Second, Kerala is one of the largest states with the maximum forest coverage, dense equatorial forest, more than 30% of the state is covered by forest. Now, what is happening is, of late, there has been an enhancement in the man-animal conflict. People are afraid of their lives. They are losing their livelihoods. There have been regular attacks by the wild boars on, say, tapioca, tapioca farming. There have been regular attacks by the tigers. There have been regular attacks by elephants. And these farmers have been living on the fringes for the last several decades. As far as the state government is concerned, they are it's absolutely irresponsible. They are not taking any proper action on time okay. to prevent the elephant, for example, to, for the elephants to come into the town. They are coming, the elephants are coming straight into the town, entering houses and trampling people. It's not that the people were trampled deep inside the forest. Elephants have moved into the concrete houses, opening up the doors and trampling people. The situation okay. is so serious, but the state government is taking a very indifferent attitude. Okay, but Mr. Srinivasan, if you could then perhaps shed some light on what is it that Rahul Gandhi has done for his constituency. He came to power from that constituency in 2019. It's 2023. We're on the verge of the next election now. Uh, if he plans on standing from the same constituency once again, what really is there for him to show as far as his own work as a member of parliament from that constituency? See, as far as as far as Ra Mr. Rahul Gandhi is concerned, he's a very popular leader. And let me tell you, if he's when since you refer to the elections, he is going to get elected if he stands with an enhanced majority. Whether he stands or not, the party has to take a decision. Now, as a, as an MP, he has been raising the issues of the, the which the people of his constituency are facing regularly with the state government as well as the uh, central government. For example, the medical facilities in Wynard. People don't have a proper medical facility in Wayanad, although it's a densely populated uh, district. For example, there is a medical college without any facilities, worse than a primary health center. He has been writing to the U union government as well as the state government several times to enhance the facilities so that people who are, are who are facing the medical emergency need not go all the way hundreds of kilometers to Calicut. 
This is exactly which happened last week. A man was trampled. He was taken to a lo local medical uh, college hospital. There are no medical facilities, which Mr. Rahul Gandhi has pointed out several times. But in his Mr. Srinivasan, we don't as often as hear Mr. Rahul Gandhi talk about Vyanad altogether. Pardon me? Can you repeat? One doesn't hear Rahul Gandhi talk about Vyanad or the problems that he is facing as a member of parliament with the state government not cooperating mm. with him. How, yes. wh why yeah. does he not speak often about it? He, he he has several times raised the issue in Kerala. I'm sure. His okay. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. You're saying that there is a yes. paper trail of him raising the issue that he's writing letters and but that no. He's... See, our government is not in power. He can only request to the state government Absolutely. as well as the UK but government. Absolutely. All I'm saying is that if he's so popular on social media and he raises several other issues, how is it that he doesn't raise the issues of his own constituency or the fact he, that he's or he doesn't put out the letters that he's writing uh, to resolve this man-animal conflict uh, uh, that is rampant in his constituency? See, See, Rahul Gandhi is one person who does not go for popularity. He is one person who is interested in ensuring that the people, the ordinary men and women in his constituency get the benefits. He has raised the issues at several at the district level, at the state level and the national level. Enough and more times he has raised. But maybe because Rahul Gandhi is there, I don't know what the reason is. The state government is not taking proper action and the union government is also not taking proper action. For example, uh, amendment to the Wildlife Protection Act. Several times this issue has been raised even in parliament that suitable action has to be taken. Now state government, the state assembly has passed a unanimous resolution requesting the union government to amend the wildlife protection. Okay, are you saying Rahul Gandhi has raised this matter in parliament? Rahul Gandhi has written this issue to the central government. He has raised in the press several times this action has to be taken. For example, I repeatedly am telling you medical facility, this is a very important thing. Several okay. times, how many times he requested this issue has to be sorted out at the earliest. Not necessarily because of the man-animal conflict alone. Okay. Even patients, the tribals in that district which are facing serious medical facilities. There are no emergency facilities. There are no proper medical ambulances, ICU, ICU ambulances. How many times can a member of parliament raise this issue? Several times. Only when there death or something happens, the state government says, okay, we will do. That's it. But they are not responding. The chief minister has not visited the district. The forest minister has not visited the district. The district. Today, the governor too visited the district. Mr. Rahul Gandhi, he cut short us Bharat Jodha and Nyaya Yatra in Uttar Pradesh, came down all the way to be with his people in the constituency. Still, the chief minister I mean, state he was come in the down all the way, sir. He, it was his job to come down. So, so let's not make it sound like he was doing no, the people a favor by man, cutting short his they, Yatra. They, they, Debiga ji, just, just understand, compare and contrast, the chief minister who was half of an hour or one hour away from that district did not have the time to visit the district right, in spite absolutely. of the fact that three people have been trampled to death. And what you saw yesterday, why not, was not politically motivated. It was an outburst of the anger and helplessness by the ordinary people of his constituency. Okay. The government, both the union government and the state government are not okay. taking action in spite of repeated requests. Okay, I don't have anybody from the CPIM to respond to that, but I do have Savio. Savio, the charge then against the BJP and the central government is that because Vainad is the constituency of Rahul Gandhi, not enough support is being extended and his voice is not being heard. Well, Devika, we all know what Rahul Gandhi's performance in Amity was when he was MP from Amity for several years. And one of the reasons he chose to leave from Amity rather than fight the BJP leader who won from Amity is known to all. Now, I'm not saying that Rahul Gandhi has not done or not done work for the people of Vayana. That's for the people of Vayana to decide whether they should elect him back to power or not. But I'm going by past record. The past record of Rahul's performances in Amity was the reasons why people chose to give somebody new, that is the BJP, a territory that was completely dominated for Congress for decades. It's, and, and that's a revelation in its own. And therefore, when you're talking about Vyanath, the complexity of the problem in Vyanath actually should be dealt with by their uh, in the India Alliance partner, which is CBIN. Now, they are already in the India Alliance together. I'm sure that an alliance is formed because they share a cordial relationship. And if somebody as powerful as the Congress thinks Rahul Gandhi is, cannot get his own alliance partner to look at the problems that people in his constituency are facing, then I think you don't have a relationship in that alliance at all between the CPIM and the Congress. So Rahul Gandhi, for all his outbursts, for this gentleman earlier who said that, you know, he took time out to come and meet the people of Vyanath, let's not make 
a mountain out of a mole hill. He did not cut his yatra short because he needed to come to Vayanad. He cut his yatra short because the yatra wasn't going anywhere. Right? Number one. Number two, as the member of parliament, the problems of your people need to be dealt with two appropriate forums. The appropriate forums, of course, are the state government and the central government. Have you in the past so many months heard Rahul Gandhi raise issues with the state government? Have you heard him or raise issues as far as the state, central government is concerned? There's absolutely been, you know, radio silence as far as that is concerned. Because if it was, just like his Nai Yatra, which he, he wants to transform the rest of India, why is he not focusing on transforming Vayanath and using all his resources to make the welfare of the people of Vayanath better? Okay. A man of Rahul Gandhi's status, uh, the legacy that he carries, his role in Vayanath, if I do have to say it very, very sadly, is primarily just to have the member of parliament seat for prosthetic reasons and use it to do politics in other parts of India. That's really what it is. Because we are clearly seen in Amity how he performed. If he performed in Amity, a powerful leader like Rahul Gandhi as the Congress makes him out to be, why did he leave it? He did not okay. even fight it. He walked Same. away. Okay, Savio, I'll come Same. back to you. Mr. Srinivasan, yeah. I'll give you a chance before I bring in uh, Manasvi Thapur as well. Can I talk now? Yes, yes. Go ahead. See, the gentleman who spoke before me is just giving some references to Amethi without knowing the ground realities of why not. I am one person who goes there very frequently. I am from the state. I know the district like the palm of my hand. See, the reality of the problem I'm is the problem. One second, one second. Let, I did not interview when I'm you spoke. I'm giving you Please. a comparative analysis. Yeah. See, there is, you are comparing oranges and, orange and apples. There is no comparison. No, we are comparing yes. oranges and oranges. He See, was a member of I did parliament. Not, I did not interfere when you spoke. I am not interfering. Okay. I am not okay. interfering. Okay. Right. Savya, I will give you, you the opportunity. But Mr. Srinivasan, his basic point is that uh, Rahul Gandhi was a member of you, parliament yes. from Amethi, where he didn't end up performing or uh, delivering to the needs of the people and therefore he lost from there. That's what Savya was trying to say. Go ahead, Mr. Shinnabha. That, that, so that, 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 that has no relevance to the current topic. It has every relevance. Here. That does not. It allow has me to speak, relevant. gentlemen. Okay, okay. Savio, Savio, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you make your point. Please let him complete, right. please. I listened to when you spoke. Not that I agree with everything what you said. Please allow me to speak. The thing is, the problem here is, as when the elephants, I'm telling you what the actions have to be taken by the state government. Electric fences have to be installed at different places so that the elephants don't come into the town. Trenches have to be dug at critical places so that elephants and wild animals don't come into the town. Proper compensation has to be given by the state government and jobs have to be given to these poor farmers. Compensation have to be given by the state government for the loss in agriculture produce which they face. These are the things with the state government. It is not Rahul Gandhi personally who have to go and put the fence, electric fences. It's the state government. He has enough number of times repeatedly again and again brought it to the notice of the state government. More wildlife teams have to be deployed. As far as the union government is concerned, immediate amendments have to be brought to the uh, Wildlife Act. This also has been, has been brought to the attention of the union government several times. It's okay. so easy to say Amethi and why not and get away with that. The reality is totally different. And Rahul Gandhi has been a very popular leader, is a popular leader and will continue to be a popular leader in the constituency. Okay, yes, That's all right. Not to okay, okay, all right. Mr. Srinivasan and Savi, I'll come to you in just a moment. I will come to you in a moment. Manasvi Thapad, I want to understand from you. The Congress yeah. party here saying that it is the fault of the state government and the central government, that the central government does not provide whatever assistance is required by Rahul Gandhi uh, for the development work that he needs to do for his constituency. And of course, the Congress party also saying that it's in fact the state government that should be held responsible and accountable for what's happening in Kerala. Given this sort of a situation, do you somewhere feel that an INDI alliance where the CPIM c wants to continue being a part of that block to simply uh, hurt the BJP in the elections, but at a state level, we can see both the Congress and the CPIM continuously blaming one another with the Congress leaders uh, in the state accusing the CPIM of not doing a great job. Now, uh, with, you know, with the CPIM saying that the Congress uh, leaders in the state uh, 
should not be blaming the chief minister for everything. So there is a lot of political bickering that is happening at a state level between these alliance partners. What do you then make of the larger situation? Will it then have an impact uh, on the health of the INDIA bloc? And also, what can be then said for the 20 Kerala seats that will be up for grabs uh, in the elections? Now, this is going to be very interesting when we, when we uh, understand on the India bloc and also in, in terms of Congress's role in the India bloc. So whenever it's going to be a state uh, state political party and a national party like Congress, which is which is also not doing well in the national elections in any state or at the center, central level. So the acceptance, though they are going to be the big brother in the India bloc or the opposition-led bloc, but the acceptability of the opposition political party to give them the uh, seat share in the Lok Sabha could be different understanding. But in the in the state elections i don't think so uh, wherever for example if cpi is stronger in kerala they'll not want to have a, that sharing ratio with them the ideology of india blog has been and is all about taking bjp out and there is no white paper out of it there is no thought process out of it that how do we want to take it out the common factor is that we want bjp out but how do we want to be, uh, want bjp out that is something which is missing second what is missing is the strat strategical point of seat sharing as of now they don't have any clarity uh up there's a different uh, scenario south there's a different scenario kerala specifically speaking would be different so the fight is going to be cpi Cong cpi plus congress in uh, visa vis versus versus BJP, but how impactful BJP is yes, going to Manasri be? Yes, Thapur, we've seen that Kerala essentially has been a contest between <clears throat> the CPIM and the Congress. Yeah, so so BJP has hardly been a factor uh, in Kerala. So BJP is not a factor. That is what I'm trying. I was I was coming in the second leg of it. That is what I'm trying to come to that point. So this is going to be a seat sharing ratio between Congress and CPI largely. So if there is no no seat sharing, they're going to cut each other's vote. But in any scenario, the the block for India block is intact in the Kerala, Kerala region. Whoever wins in the India block is going to be part of that India opposition alliance. But the larger point is, but wherever BJP is strong, for example, in Uttar Pradesh, if BJP is the strongest there, so what is the seat sharing uh, uh, alliance going to be with SP? There is where Congress's confusion or the SP's confusion or acceptance, or for example, in, B in Bihar, RJD plus Congress. So that is where Congress is already at the third or the fourth place. So they don't have a larger role to play in that India block alliances structure. So this is something which is very interesting. I don't know how far Congress has gone in understanding and accepting the regional players to be given a larger chunk of the regional states which they uh, control and be at the uh, singular digit level. That has not been happening. So there is where confusion is. Even in the West Bengal region, the West Bengal Congress is already fighting against Mamta Banerjee. And Mamta yes. Banerjee openly said that I'm not a part of it. So this is the confusion. Not just West Bengal, Bengal. we've seen Uttar, it started Uttar with Uttar Pradesh. Pradesh. It started with the Samajwadi party saying that they, they have their own plan in place for UP and they want to focus on that. If Congress wants to join them, uh, well and good. But if they don't, they have a plan in place to uh, come back in Uttar Pradesh. Devika. Yes. The, I, I don't know about the opposition plan, but what, what narrative I have been seeing is in the last couple of days is there is the likes of Kamal Nath, Navjot Singh, Sidhu and multiple top level leaders of Congress going, going to BJP. This has never been heard of. And further with that, Prime Minister Narendra Modi is saying is about 400 par. So this is the narrative. They're already setting it up. A party which is very strong. If you have to fight with the might of the likes of Narendra Modi, you have to think like him, act like him, and create a cadre like him. That is something which is, which is missing. In the heat okay. heat of election 2024, the top leader of Congress, Rahul Gandhi, is on a Nyaya Yatra. So how they are going to connect the Nyaya Yatra with the upcoming elections? That is also going to be very interesting. Are you projecting Rahul Gandhi as a Jan Nayak, uh, a leader who is going to be at the grassroots level? Or are you projecting him as the potential prime ministerial candidate of Congress? So a potential prime ministerial candidate of the Congress will not be on a yatra, but go, but would be on a yatra of okay. speeches yes. nationwide. The, so that that, that brings me yes, that brings me to the second aspect. Is Mithun uh, still with us uh, on the broadcast? Because I'd like to. Okay, Mithun not there with us. Uh, so, Mr. Srinivasan, you wanted to make a point. Uh, I'll give you the space for that, and then I'll come back to Manaswi. See. Are we talking about uh, India versus uh, NDA or are we talking about the issues in Why not? 
this is about the man animal conflict because i somehow feel that that's a relevant topic but here today's topic is about the man animal conflict and what, what action has to be taken this is this issue the presence of our importance of bjp is a peripheral thing okay i will so give one sentence about bjp's presence bjp as far as the political situation in kerala is concerned is a political non entity forget about lok sabha seat they don't even have one member in the 140 member house so forget about uh, lok sabha elections and all they are not going to win from anywhere so as far as kerala is concerned we we are strongly opposing or the, the bitter foes are the congress led united democratic front which got 19 out of 20 seats last time and the left democratic front so we do have difference of opinion no doubt about it that is why india alliance is having around 28 parties if there were no di- political differences we would have been one party but difference of opinion is there so keeping that in self as far as this uh, conflict is concerned we require if i can come back to the same topic of the discussion that the man uh, animal conflict in wynad area suitable actions have to be taken by the state government at the earliest compensation have to be given for the farmers at the earliest not paltry compensation of 5 lakh or 10 lakhs for example karnataka government yesterday announced a compensation of 15 lakhs to the man who died in uh, by an elephant attack to uh, last week why because that was an elephant which was caught and radio collared in karnataka yes. which entered the kerala But forest Mr. and came to wayna that brings me back to the same question sir and you know we especially in? in the media sabhi I'll, I'll, i'll let you come in but i just want to explain a, a quick point to mr shrinivasan yes the issue is of the people who are dying but the question then becomes are they dying because of political bickering because as you've said that your own alliance partner is not listening to you in the state that rahul gandhi is not being able to get a pinarayi vijayan to take action in wayanad and they are supposedly alliance partners on a national front the as far as kerala is concerned the politics in kerala is concerned we have been bitterly attacking the performance of the left government under pinarayi vijayan no doubt about it we have been putting all pulls and pressures upon the state so government so then why do you want to be in alliance with them on a national level see, see at the national level i told you, you know 27 parties including mamata banerji is the trinamool congress all of us are there we have our difference of opinion within the state no doubt about it did we at any time say that we have no difference of opinion as far as national level is concerned it's a threat to the the country is facing a big threat to the constitution of india Mr. the second of my, my basic point to you sir see, is does the country or the people the general public do we see a stable political party with one leader as a threat or do we see a bunch of political parties bickering with one another as a larger threat to the health of the country give me give me one minute to answer yes one minute and then i'll come to savi and manasvi as, as well yeah as far as as far as as far as nda and the bharatiya janata party is concerned they don't celebrate the diversity of india they want one religion they want one dress one food habit as far as congress is concerned they've not do, said that sir we uh, allow me to answer <laughs> that, that's we, an unfair point as, to no, make no i'm sorry you're where right. has the bjp or the nda ever said that they want one religion they want one ma'am, food they want one language they've ma- never said ma- that ma'am ma'am let me answer as far as the congress party is concerned we are a party which celebrates the diversity of this country we yes, strongly we feel that. that difference of opinion will be there so there is absolutely Mr. Was, no, what no. has the bjp done to not celebrate the diversity of the country can i on what basis are we saying that i can Devi. talk for one hour about the about the problem being faced of the minorities and other communities in the country right from manipur i am a minority sir i think this is i think this I'm is not the time i i think i'm a I think minority this, okay. sir i think i think this is not the time to discuss when we are discussing about I'm minority, minority we should not sir. we should not digress from the main topic and discuss mainly about the nda versus the bjp i'm sorry to say Can that I come in baby sir. okay all right mr shrinivasan i have given you your chance you asked for one minute i have given you that savio uh you wanted to make well, a point okay so let me since uh, he wanted to stay on the binar topic but he himself digress to minorities so i come from the christian minority sir and i'm not afraid of living in india even though it's ruled by the bjp i am a part of the bjp being from the christian minority over the last several years the bjp has working and has been working with leaders from the church in kerala itself leaders from the church in delhi leaders from the church in goa so what minority danger are you talking about the same old appeasement politics that is so used to congress are you Devika talking Devika about Devika diversity Devika. what happened in 1984 Devika what Devika was congress okay. role in the 1984 riots what was congress's role on various other aspects should i draw the list out 
Okay. All so right. So stop lying and answer to the question. The question that is posed to you is: You have an alliance partner in the state. A state is Kerala. Your Le member Levita of Kerala. Manas, we'll Congress, give you a chance. Rahul One Gandhi second. He is from Kerala. Why is CPIM's chief minister and Rahul Gandhi not able to solve the problem of the people of Bayanad? Yes. But you will not answer that. Yes. Okay. You talk okay. About I, I, minority I, okay. is being in danger. I've given both the lying. Congress and the BJP a chance to make their points. I'm going to end this with uh, Manasvi. Manasvi, uh, can, last one. I, I want to understand from you. You know, the, the problem that we now see, and I've been seeing it for the past few months when I try to have a conversation with the Congress or any of the alliance partners, is that they are truly at this point in time really struggling to come up with a cogent reason as to why they're together in the first place, a point that was raised by you earlier as well. And we once again see the Congress struggling to make that point clear, that you want to be together at the national level, but you also want to bicker at the state level. One second. Dev Devika, you, your, One question, second. Uh, your question also has the answer for this. Why, why would I say that is because it is the Congress's responsibility because they are the larger party. They are the big brother in the opposition and they have to take it up forward with the opposition parties which are not with the BJP or NDA alliance with India alliance that we have to have the clarity for the voters. Your yes. end result is not Narendra Modi. Your end result is the voter of the country. How are they going to buy at the time of voting in the end of the March or April that uh, I trust the India Alliance candidate over the One. NDA alliance over the NDA. How is that going to happen if there is no clarity of thought? You have to give it out to the people. You have to make it so simple for the people that a person sitting uh, uh, or going for a vote understand that this is not a Congress. Uh, for example, this is not a leader from the Congress, but it is part of the India Alliance. And this is their common minimum program. And that program is to take India forward from 24 to 29. And how it's going? How is that going to happen? So that clarity from the day one when the opposition leaders sat together and formed India Alliance till today does not have it. And the onus has to be with Congress because they are the larger people. And if the Prime Minister is going to be there, it is most likely going to be from the Congress candidate. They don't have a face as of now. They don't have a manifesto thought process as of now. They don't have a think. Thank uh, as of now the meetings are not happening. What is the way forward? It is all a fallout as of now. Why? Okay. Because the concentration of the Congress is on the Yatra. There, if you want to go for the Yatra, also you have to give the leadership or you have to create a leadership which will talk with the alliances and with with the opposition parties together on a common minimum program. That is not okay. happening. Clarity okay. communication is not happening. All right, Mr. Srinivasan, thirty seconds to then then I need to wrap up, sir. See, both the both the both the governments at the national level and the central uh, the state level what they should understand instead of taking suitable action they are finding an easy way of just attacking rahul gandhi personally that's not the solution they should act the union government should act they should amend the wildlife protection act Absolutely. the state government should the also union act government should. they are not doing the work and just blaming rahul gandhi rahul gandhi no, what actually is taking rahul gandhi mm. But it is but working yeah, for them. Nobody is blaming Mr. Srinivasan. Yes, Mr. nobody is blaming Mr. Rahul Gandhi, but it happens to be his constituency. And in fact, that he is the one who's them. flown there uh, because of the protest, and he is the one who's actually made a news point out of it. Let, I let wish us, he, he, he had something more to uh, perhaps show that this is what I've done for Wayanad in the past let, five years let, that I've been here, rather be than over. just the photo op that we've seen come out. Let us come to power, we'll solve it in 24 hours. <laughs> okay. Don't laugh it away. Sorry. Okay. All right. All okay, right. So all the best. All the best. Thank Thumbs you. up to you. Okay. Bye. All right. On that note, uh, at least it's uh, ended on a slightly lighter note. Uh, uh, that's very unusual for uh, TV discussions. But I thank all of our panelists for taking all the time and joining us on NewsX. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel. Hit the bell icon.